Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the limited time free on the Fab Marketplace. Once again, we've got access to three amazing assets free now until the 11th of February. So you have until that time to claim them, but you can use them forever. Now, I thought they were only doing this twice a month, but it looks like this month they've actually done it three times. So that's quite cool. That's quite interesting. Uh, but without further ado, let's get right into it. This month around, we have the Sicker Dynasty, the Clay Pots, and the Ultimate Interaction Manager. So we're going to start off by covering the Sicker Dynasty. Now, sorry if I'm mispronouncing that. It might be Sicker, Psycho, I'm not sure. But this is an Asian style full environment with optimized lighting and texturing techniques. So you can use this environment and expand it with provided assets or populate your own similar maps and designs using props provided in the pack. So this features 190 unique meshes with 18 full building prefabs. So you can just place these straight into a level without having to build any buildings as well with the meshes. However, you can do that as this is fully modular. You can create your own buildings and assets and level designs as well, which is what I really like about modular stuff. This pack also has fully optimized lighting with mostly baked lights. There's also prop texturing with a hybrid of trim sheet and combined UVs. And there are handmade light mapped UVs with a maximum pixel density per island. For some more optimization and efficiency, there is shared textures between multiple assets and texture streaming ready for all assets as well. For almost all the props, there are 4K textures and there are also high detail unique props. There's also leave decals and post-process materials for haze and sharpening effects just to give that extra nice look to it all too. This uses Nanite, so it's high performance demo map without the need of LODs. And there is also falling leaves and fantasy fire Niagara particle system. So again, there is a total of 190 unique meshes and two particle systems. There are no LODs as this uses Nanite. There are 10 materials and 23 material instances with 66 textures, all of which being 4K. So I think this one looks absolutely great. The personal license for this is $50 and the professional license is $65. And next up, we have the Clay Pots Nanite and Low Poly. So with this, you can immerse yourselves in the exclusive collection of 25 clay pots, each boasting a unique AAA design and featuring high quality hand painted textures. And this offers both low poly and nanite versions of the pots, ensuring compatibility with diverse projects. These pots have been meticulously crafted by talented artists, guaranteeing exceptional quality and attention to detail. So this features 50 meshes, that's 25 nanites and 25 low poly, so there's 25 different types of pots. There are hand painted high quality and fidelity texture sets, all of which being 4K. And these pots are also optimized for games and animations. And there's also a master material setup that controls the majority of all props and models as well. These pots are also fully detailed from all sides, so you can use them in any way, shape or form that you want within your games or cinematics or films or whatever it is that you're making. So this is scaled to the epic skeleton and the vertex count is between two and four and a half thousand verts. There's 51 materials and material instances and 155 textures. I think this one looks great as well. This is normally $16 with a personal license and $25 with a professional license. And finally, last but not least, we have the Ultimate Interaction Manager. And so this is a component-based replicated interaction manager that will allow you to convert any actor into an interactable. So there are a lot of settings to customize for your needs within this as well, and you can automatically add dynamic markers with a widget pool, customizable icons, and a point of interest system. Different types of interaction handling will allow you to create any type of interaction for any actor and any kind of situation. And there are also callbacks for interaction targets to handle interaction results at runtime. So this system is completely replicated as well on the server side with multiple network handling methods. The only thing you have to do is replicate the cosmetics for the interaction target. So the input of this is keyboard and mouse. And again, as I've said, this is fully network replicated with a dynamic and fully customizable markers widget pool. And there are also different types of interactions, results and network handling based on your needs. So there's not much else to say about this one, but there is also documentation linked on the Marketplace page as well, because this might be a bit difficult for some of you to set up as it's quite detailed and quite in depth, but it's very good in that regard as well. Normally, the personal license for this is $100 and the professional license is $150. And 
And with that, I think that'll be it for this video of covering this time around limited time free on the Fab or the Unreal Engine Marketplace. And again, you have until the 11th of February to collect these at 10 a.m. Eastern time. I think my favorite one this time around is probably the Ultimate Interaction Manager, as I feel like that's probably going to be most useful for me if I were to use any of these. And let me know in the comments down below which one your favorite one was as well. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you found it helpful of me just covering and showcasing these assets and also remind you that you can get them as well because this one also took me surprise because I wasn't expecting a third one for this month. If you did enjoy this video, please do make sure to like and subscribe down below as it really does help me and the channel out a lot. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.